Hi, well, welcome back, YouTube people. How are you doing? I assume good. I, I don't know. I can't I can't communicate with you. This is a very uh, one-way method of uh, communication. I speak to you, but you don't speak to me. Um, it's very different from Twitch chat. Chat, who can't speak to me. Is that, isn't that right, Twitch chat? So, uh, we integrated the West... Did a little uh, things in um, taking back Petrograd and integrating uh, Volgograd. And we're trying to figure out how best. Oh, can we do this? We can. The nuclear war cannot be considered a continuation of politics by other means. It would be a means of universal suicide. Andrei Sakharov. The fourth power. Okay. Hey. 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 Damn, this music slaps. Jesus. The fourth power. Oh shit, it's still going. Okay. Oh, okay. Bet. Pause if you want to read. Welcome to Kakazia. Next, we'll go ahead and rebuild the cities during our great advance. You know, I don't know if we can even if we even have time to read these because I, I this like I said this is gonna be the last video so. Focus dot no checks. Time for my old friend to come back. Wait, no, it's focus dot auto complete as well. Bam. Mount of Madness. Foul him right. Josias Zuvaldek and Piedmont to turn the once vibrant land Caucasian into land of pain and despair. Pressing the people and exploiting the lands from his Nazi masters in Germania. Such an evil. Such an evil should not be, must never be allowed to rise again. Through Kakazia, we must spread the truth of his atrocities, show the people his crimes, and be ensured that the dark stain he's left in history will be remembered with disdain and hatred by all who speak of him. I wonder where they. Oh, yeah, I was curious about that myself. Uh, pause if you want to read that. There's, there's some experience which ours shall never heal merely, merely through time. Next, show the world their crimes. Caucasia has been scarred deeply by the decades-long occupation by Nazi forces. Millions of native Caucasians from Georgia's Azerbaijanis were massacred, tortured, and segregated by the German administration that kept their operations in the region secret to those beyond the borders of the Reich. The world must sh will show no sympathy beyond the borders of the uh, towards the German people in Eastern Europe once the crimes have been revealed to the world. Across America and over the OFN, from my face beaming through the living rooms. I don't know why I'm reading this one, Paul. Good evening, I'm Walter Cron Cronkite. These ruins are in Baku, former capital of Azerbaijan. They were left here by an act of war. Hundreds died here. Here in the ruins can be seen physical evidence for the Third Reich's occupation and colonization of the people of Europe. But far less tangible are what these ruins mean. And like everything else in this burned, blasted, boy land, they mean survival or extermination, life or death, depending on who you talk to. Cameron cuts to an Azerbaijani man dressed in a gray suit and tie. He speaks as a representative of the Caucasian Reconstruction Zone. I think people must realize what we suffered as a people before we can heal. There was no security, not even in your own home, home in the heart of the city. The SS could come to your door, knock on your door, and just kill you without any remorse in their eyes. 
There are doubts about the exact measure of the disaster itself, how many died, how much damage was done, but still approximations, despite the official figures by the, offered by the Third Reich. Russian officials estimate the death toll of Asia in the millions, perhaps more. Anyone who has wandered through his rooms knows that an exact count is impossible. Why, just short, a short while ago, a little old man came and told us two children were buried in a hastily dug up grave at the end of the block. And what about these ruins? Had they gone through the mall for buried civilians and soldiers? What about the 14 Missouri men who we found in a courtyard beyond the post office? Have they been counted? They certainly haven't been buried. The camera pans out behind Cronkite smoke is building from an apartment building. At least it was an apartment building. Now it looks more akin to a tower of blocks pushed over by a frustrated toddler. We came here to Kakazi to determine what all of us meant to the future of the world. Not since the bombing of Pearl Harbor has a barbarity and evil of National Socialism thought been so clear to the people of Earth. The Germania line that the Russians are in some way engaging in ethnic cleansing or racial war against the German people is not borne out by the evidence. The fact is the Russian Federation who is engaged with this war in the best tradition of mankind is an honorable people who lived up to their pledge to defend democracy as best they could. And that's the way it is in Caucasia. Next, free the people. For too long, Caucasia had been segregated into an ethnic hierarchy by colonial government, with very few German settlers living in Caucasia at the top, while the majority were forced to toil in the fields and oil mines. At the time we completely dismantled what remained of Burgundian politics, which separated the others, the people, for decades, bring to them the one thing they've been yearning for freedom. And then the future of Caucasia. With the reconstruction efforts, the Federation is slowly leading Caucasia on the road to recovery. It's time to decide what the future of the diverse Caucasia region should be. The land is rich, especially in oil, but since coming under the administration of a Caucasian reconstruction zone, Caucasia has enjoyed freedom and a higher level autonomy than it has ever had under the Roper Reich. That leaves only one question for the nation to ask what will the future of Caucasia be? Hmm. The reconstruction efforts in the Caucasian reconstruction zone near completion. Debate over the future of Caucasia has always erupted in federal assembly. Some support total independence, outright, others outright annexation, with many in the middle proposing their solutions to the question. The government seems to be a deadlock, and the word of President Shukshin can sway the government to determine the future of Caucasia. Let's give the Georgians and the Al Azerbaijanis their deserved independence. And there we go. We got Georgia. And by Marcus Taylor and, and um, Azerbaijan, looking led by someone who probably is Azerbaijani and not just a placeholder name. And there we go. Next, we'll rebuild Ukraine. Yeah. And I'll just go through these because I'm getting tired. And I know we have to go ahead uh, pause if you want to read it. Pause if you want to read this. Although There is something here that does catch my eye, and I think we are going to have to pause for a second, at least to uh, be fully read for it. What faction are they in? They are neutral. Well, there's one thing we got to do. Demand Odessa. During the Second World War, the Ukrainian province of Odessa Nistrania were annexed by the Romanians. By Romania. Although they had been torn away from another country, the people living there were much more content to live under Romanian rule, who were much more benevolent than the Germans who intend on killing them and turning all Slavs into slaves of the Reich. With Ukraine now liberated from German rule, however, Ukrainians living in this land now wish to rejoin their mother country. Retaking these lands would help boost our popularity in Ukraine, making Ukrainian people more receptive to the Federation. Um, and then we'll go over a series. We can just pause and do it. Um, go ahead and read. Three, two, one. Three, two, 
one, three, two, one, three, two, yeah. Uh, three, two, one. I had, um, I had onion rings earlier from, uh, Jack in the Box. They were okay. <clears throat> Let's see, um, I'll pause. Of course, Vasily, I'll return, return as soon as I can. Go ahead and read that if you want. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to be building the Baltic states for a bit. Baltic states were harder than any other region in Eastern Europe. The lands were heavily colonized, German uh, be Germans becoming the majority in several major settlements. The identities and cultures of the Baltic states were nearly erased onto the pages of history. But that is not what God had planned for the Baltic, as our brave sons of the All-Russian Army tore through the Ostland auxiliaries and captured the city of Riga. Treaty of Riga, the artificial state of Alsland, was destroyed, and for the first time in decades, the Baltic had returned to the maps of Europe. Our efforts in the Western Russia have proven that it's not too yet late to save the native cultures of Eastern Europe. We can bring help the Baltic state to bring back their culture and make the region more than just a place in Europe. Here we go. Chechnya and Circassia. I'm sure, there's nothing bad going to come out of us taking uh, Chechnya back. No reason to think that. I don't know. Uh, oh! Okay, they just agreed to do it. Another victory for the Russian Federation. Let's go! Well, next, I guess the future of Ukraine. Continued assistance to the Federation, Ukraine is on the way to recovery. This comes to question of their place in post-war Eastern Europe. Ukraine is considered the breadbasket of Europe and shares a language similar to Russian, but the nation has enjoyed a higher level of autonomy in the Reich. For all these years, doesn't Ukraine deserve its freedom? Uh, this is going to be a very interesting question. Which is surely not contentious at all. You know, let's have let them have their independence. Now they do get a nice new color and a nice generic portrait. And we do get with stove at least, that's nice. And then we'll take Gotenland. And uh Yeah, there we go. Here's the good ending. Surely not a contentious issue at all either. Crimea's Russian. Shall be kept for our interests. All right, then let's do focus dot auto complete. Building Estonia. The people of Estonia did not endure colonization to the same extent as Lithuania and Latvia did, but Estonia still suffered under the rule of ERK Ostlan. For culture and language suppressed, and their homes destroyed by the Ostland Civil War, the Second West Russian War. The Federation, not the enemy of the Russian, Estonian people, we must show their, their reconstruction efforts to show the people that the new Russia is indeed a better Russia. With the proper investment in industrial systems, Estonia should be able to industrialize and recover much faster than its Baltic kin. 
than Latvia. Uh, the oppression of German Latvia, much like for southern neighbor, neighbor Lithuania, endured decades of colonization and cultural suppression. Whilst the Latvians were able to hold on to their culture, they received more settlers than the other Baltic states, losing the entire province of Kurzeme to German colonization. The abysmal living conditions continued to drop even further with the outbreak of the awesomeness of war. Thousands of Latvians were displaced, with many losing their homes. Throughout Latvia, homelessness is still a significant problem. While we cannot solve all of Latvia's issues in a single day, we can support the economic recovery of the region, supporting new industrial projects so that the people can find jobs and lift themselves out of poverty. Next, Lithuania was one of the first regions in the old Soviet Union to fall of German advances, leaving much of land devastated. The Ostland Civil War only made things worse. While predominantly German towns and neighborhoods have been fully restored, much like much of Lithuania still remains dilapidated in ruins. Unlike the Reich, the Federation cares about the people. Terrible conditions the Lithuanian people are forced to endure. Slowly but surely, we'll have to rebuild a re the region and bring to the people a standard of living near equal to that of the Federation itself. Let's do the Jewel of the Baltic Sea, why not? The Latvian city of Riga is the largest city in former Ostland. It was the administrative center of the former Reich Commissariat and the current home of the military administration of the Baltic Reconstruction Zone. It doesn't mean that Riga is the most pristine city in the Baltic states. The Latvian natives that live in the city have been relegated to the ghettos, being left to rot while the German zones have, been, have prospered. No sense of war, don't make things get better. But Riga can be better. Given enough time and investment, the Federation can help the city of Riga rebuild and recover from the legacy of German rule and bring its title as the Jewel of the Baltic Sea new meaning and glory. And then let's do this. The Germans gone on the land and blessed with the freedom of the gift of freedom, laughing people can now feel more comfortable in press expressing their culture than ever before. The streets of people are now setting up cultural festivals all on their own. In Riga, new markets have been set up, selling food that had once been a staple of Latvian culture, tradition, and identity. The people have taken up upon themselves to restore their own landmarks, much like the Admiral Scow. Latvia's new golden age is upon them, and they have the support of the Federation in their glorious cultural renaissance. All very nice. All very nice. Next. During the reign of the Reich, these mines, major part of the mining industry, let's reopen them to help them figure out their economy, but it's going to be better. That's what that says. The next, Lithuania, while not losing the entire region of German colonization, is home to a large German majority that under the Reich has held a massive sway in politics and in turn culture of the region, making a strange amalgamation of two cultures making them almost the same as Germans. Almost. Given enough time, we can employ similar techniques we use in Western Russia, reverse the cultural damage done by the Germans, and truly bring Lithuania back to life. Next, much of Estonia is covered in forests, which is not easy to develop as the vast plains of Russia, makes connecting them the minor settlements rather frustrating. So this general guy, across we invest in the railways, why not? And then language classes, New schools, fuck it, why not? Very uh, thorough readings I'm doing, I know. Okay, next. The economy and industry and identity of the Baltic states have been restored, narrowly avoiding the integration to the Reich. With that in mind, the time has come to determine the Baltic's place in the Federation, moving forward and redraw the map of the Baltic states for decades to come. What may be advantageous for the Federation to integrate the Baltic states? Some believe the Baltic people deserve a chance to finally rule themselves, or they be united as one Baltic confederation or divided into their respective states. What will, shall the future of them be? Let's see. The free construction into the Baltic states, including free cultures of the region now were born. Times come to any fate. Some call for complete annexation, some want independence. Some would support a Baltic Confederation. Let's do a three-state solution. Yeah, there we go. They're back, boys. Look at that. And is the Glen still broken, by the way? Damn. 
R.I.P. John. You deserve better. Next, rebuild Belarus. First nation to have German boots on their soil, with Minsk being the first city of the former Soviet Union fall. Lost lands for German Reich, with the city of Brest being fully colonized. Heavily pressed. Lost millions of people. But things have changed for Belarus. Changed for the better. Winds of change have arrived. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit, I think I'll just pause and let you guys read. Because I'm just kidding. Um, Minsk is Belarus, what Russia is. Moscow is to Russia. Good to know. Bring the city back to life. Rebuild their schools. Mm -hmm. Religious rebirth. Mm -hmm. Why not? Hold on, I got. Religious rebirth. Dreams of freedom. Industrialism. White Russian Railway. And the future Belarus. And yeah. Might as well just let it be free. Then down in Europe. Focus dot auto complete. I know I think we're gonna have a lot of Okay, pause and read. Three two one. 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 Don Eurasia. Three two one. Okay, so, fourth power. I think we'll go on our own. I was debating whether to do OFN or the CTSO, but I think we'll just stick on our, uh, our, on our lonesome. Right, so I do have a bit more time than I realized, but still. For so much blood has been spilt over a vast motherland, our hard work and toil have at last but or fruit. As Russia stands, once more as a global superpower, spanning from the Great Pacific to the Baltics. With all of Russia now truly united and free, we must decide what will be the Federation's place in this ever-changing world. Shall we join the OFN and work for our old American allies? Nah. I mean, let's be real. Uh, uh, America's not doing that hot right now. I thought putting Glenn in charge would make things pretty fun and awesome. Uh, but they're just kind of shitting the bed right now. I think... Russia must chart... Her own destiny. So let's go on our own. Well, I appreciate everything the U.S. has done for us in the dark side of struggling strike. It would be in the best interest of the Russian Federation that we conduct ourselves on the global stage on our own. While we shall be more than willing to work with the U.S. wherever interests may align, it's for the best that stake that we stake our own destiny and establish ourselves the last beacon of hope and liberty for the people of Eurasia. And honestly, yeah. I mean, how's that future of freedom working in America? Not that well. 
Judging by all the fucking commie support. Let me just check and see how bad the USA is doing right now. They actually have no far left or far right senators, which is interesting. But yeah, the rest... They're just not doing that. Ah, oh, shit. Jesus. How's your, um... Man, shit, yeah. Huh. RIP America. And then England, they're doing okay. Which is nice to see. go pause to read the start of something beautiful question mark let's go ahead and read that this collective security treaty organization this point um <laughs> yeah this is um not better arm better army professionalism that's nice So you finally have a professional army, which didn't hinder us too much, at least, before. Pause if you want to read. Times are changing in Europe and beyond. Indian diplomacy. Pause if you want to read. Go. Go. This is on time now. But I get working on that for for now. And Germany, are you gonna move your troops at all? They're so attritioned they can't move them. Wow. Oh, this is sad. I I, I didn't fully realize that. We beat them so bad. I mean, he looks like he wants to die. Pause if you want to read. Start something beautiful. International cooperation. Okay, the birth of a new alliance. The the we are ready. 
We are ready to bring forth a new alliance that will forever change the globe. People of Eastern Europe beyond our great and noble cause, it's time we realize the concept that was once dreamed up by Shukshin Prakrishkin so long ago. Say to Novosibirsk, the place where it all began, we shall officially announce the creation of the Collective Security Treaty Organization. There we go. This is gonna be beautiful. Truly beautiful. Got cold there for a second. <sighs> now it's a bit of a messy world, I'm not gonna lie, but I think it's a it's an okay world. The Russian Federation recently triumphed in Nova Germany and has seemingly defied the international expectations. The founding of a CSGO, defensive alliance spearheaded by the Federation, aiming to stop on incursions into Eurasia by the Iron's back and the co-prosperity sphere. President Shukshin declared in Moscow that the Russian Federation and her people need to be in charge of its destiny going forward, stating, Russia needs to bear the weight of its responsibilities once more, it must be able to take action when it is necessary and be able to remain neutral without bearing obligations to foreign nations. Yeah, that's back from the spear have not been receptive of former entry, but another shoot power to call a war declaring Russia's recent actions to be upsetting to be already fragile global balance. A new order rises. Next we got our next challenge. Russia must never again be left vulnerable to invasion by hostile foreign powers who seek to subjugate the Russian people. Never again. Yeah, it, it, it. I know I'm getting a little quick and uh, rushing through some of these near the end, but I am. I have enjoyed this mod. It is a neat, nice little sub mod to a mod. And I think they did some okay work. A bit of proofreading would have been nice. You need more coffee if this is going to be a long day. There are a lot of fucking events, but that's not the worst. And we got shit, the Ma clique. God, there's just so much shit, isn't there? Um, fuck. Turtle wasn't kidding, there's a lot of shit here. We'll push that in the West China War. KMT Remnant, milled by the Mock League. There we go, our brothers in Mongolia. Probably the Nomads, friends in Ulan Batar. Mongolian Rebellion. Co rise. The United is free. Freedom isn't free. It's a hefty fucking fee. So much sacrifice, people like Alexi could rest easy. Okay. Isn't that Pope Man? That, I think that's Pope Man shit. And then there's fucking space, Jesus. Stellaris, cosmonauts. Oh my god. There's a lot of shit here, isn't it? Obviously, want to read. Oh shit, I should give you much time, much time there. Uh, 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. 
Step of light. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. Three, two, one. Looks like we gave them a uh, little bit of Mongolia here. And uh, are we supposed to help them? Or what's the deal exactly? Pause, three, two, one. Shit. <laughs> It was a little quicker than the three, the two, and the one. Um, well, we'll at least go through the space tree. Because this is different. I'm curious how they do this. Russia's been reclaimed, but there still exists another challenge ahead of us. A vast new stel stellar frontier of space. It's vast as a only glimpsed at glimpsed at by the Americans and Germans. But unlike the other global superpowers who squabble over the limited lands of Earth, the Federation has looked up towards the sky, seeing the infinite potential of the stars that exist beyond the boundaries of atmosphere. If the U.S. and the Reich have broken the atmosphere and left their mark in man's new chapter, I will see our species reach the stars. Some for Russia also breached for atmosphere, much like its stellar rivals have, and lead humanity to a stellar golden age. These guys are doing their own thing. What else do you want to read? Ah, uh, no, that's not going too well for them, is it? Can I send volunteers? I can't, okay. Well, I might as well at least try. Pause if you want to read. I guess I'm gonna guess this is the same idea over here. Pause to read. And if you put that in a press release, I'll kick your ass. People don't like going to that well tough shit. Uh, pause, blow to Shukshin's have a perfect reputation. Construct a Cosmodrone. Cosmodrone is the name of a rocket launch to sit, facility developed by Titan, zoned for construction via more a blast just north of the city of Blavoshenk. The commencement of this grand structure only awaits the approval of the President himself. So enough of Cosmodrome. We'll be take jumping the jumping off point from where the Federation will take the right of place among the vast stars of the cosmos. Will our volunteers get there in time? That's what I'm wondering. Oh. Fuck, no. Wait, how the fuck did they get this part? Man, I'm confused.
Oh dear, they're they're not doing too hot right now, are they? Pause if you wish to read. And, um, hmm. Well, who should walk the distant world so unlike our own? Who shall become the legends of the stars who journey the infinite cosmos? Shall be the American astronaut, the German Sch Sternermann? Sternermann. No, the travel stars will be a symbol of our own motherland. The courageous cosmonaut. A new generation of space who's designed to protect the wearer from a dangerous space while enduring... Ensuring peak mobility, cosmonauts of Russia shall become the face of stellar exploration as if the Federation pushes humanity ever onward towards the stars. God damn it, can you fucking not die? Uh, evidently, no. Okay, you know what? The CTSO was a fun idea. Uh, it's probably not going to work out, and that's okay. That is okay. You know, honestly, I'm not sweating it. I am not. Because you have good things going on in Russia, and that's really what matters. In the end, isn't it? Maybe we'll try to help these guys. Some volunteers. Are you guys still live by Cherkis? Yeah, they are. Okay. Pause if you want to read. Back to the drawing board. Re systems. If you are to get close to reaching vast untapped potential stars, We'll need advanced technological machines and computers will make the screen network to the nation beyond much easier and cheaper than nation. Luckily, we have the greatest minds of the Federation, from scientists of Titan to the brilliant minds of Tomsk, making new technological breakthroughs every day. Soon enough, we shall catch up with the stellar technology of American Germany. Soon enough, we shall surpass them as a master of stars. I don't know what the f what the fuck happened here. What? Well, I mean, at least I don't know, man. Um, Well, if we can help take Jin Kyung out. Pause. Do do do. Don't explain commuters to laymen. It's much easier to explain sex to a virgin. Ouch. Well, right now, stars await. There are no li more limits for the Russian Federation to face anymore. The Federation has overcome all the challenges the world has had to throw at it. We endured a collapse of the CSR. We united our glorious motherland. We have transformed ourselves from an authoritarian state to one of the freest countries on the planet. We've gone toe to toe against Iraq and triumphed. Now that our place in the world has been secured, our people liberated, preparation made, it's time for the Federation to conquer its next greatest challenge within, that's in within, that is within reach. The stars. There's another focus tree I might just have to throw in the dowel here, folks. But, um, yeah, like I said, this is a uh, great mod. I, I enjoy it greatly. <clears throat> Present watch in anticipation from safety of the control room as this countdown began. Behind him stood Spakrishkin, who watched on in both curiosity and the awe as the numbers slowly began to count down. Three, two, one. 
The engines roared to life like the ground beneath it, white hot as the flames that propelled the rocket away from the ground, leaving behind a trail of smoke that raced for stars beyond the crystal blue horizon. Shukshin, blurry eyed, looked back on the incredible journey of the Federation taken, from the struggling splinter of Central Se Siberian Republic to the one that would reunify Russia, the ones who would avenge 1941, the only country in history to ever triumph against the Wehrmacht, and the only who would lay the foundation for tomorrow in the skies. When the scientists told the president of the spacecraft and successfully made it over landing, was preparing to make a landing on the great Luna herself, Shukshin simply nods. He smiles, speechless, and the Federation looks up towards the stars above. Together, what once seemed impossible is now possible. A seemingly endless amount of new possibilities and dreams are now within reach. No longer a dream. And that's it. So, um... Well, shoot, there goes that little bit of land. Eh, what are you gonna do? Um, that was fun. Uh, shout out to the mod developers of the uh, second West Russian War mod. You have a pretty impressive thing right here, I, I gotta say. Be a little lengthy at times. Um, I was not expecting to have this much content. I am pretty impressed. Um, I definitely my eyes on. Uh, yeah, my curiosity for sure. And uh, whatever you guys end up doing next, I'll uh, I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, I think that's it for now, folks. Thank you as always for watching. If you like this video, leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike. Want to see more of this content in the future? Hit the sub button for uploads every weekday, as well as occasionally Saturdays. If you have any comments, feedback, certainly leave in the comments section below. I read the comments I get. Appreciate any other feedback you might have for me. Can we push through? Just take take the point. At least win one of these fucking wars. Auto save, okay. Um, yeah. Comments, feedback, and certainly uh, leave it below. I uh, read all the comments. Get appreciate any help you want to have for me. Um, if you want to send a few bucks money every month, I have a Patreon. If you want to uh, see me do this with live, I have a Twitch. If you want to share play games, I have a Discord. Oh, which you now screen the box below. That's it for now, folks. Thank you for those watching. My name has been Dogboat333. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.